I'm Michael Cole, this is JB Allen, we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. The Rose City's gonna get his face rocked tonight, and I, for one, can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, anytime you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed a great show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup, and I haven't been disappointed. I didn't say I'm not disappointed, but I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner some other time. Wow, listen to that, Chan. The crowd makes a huge difference, whether they're for you or against you. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Ugh. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, but if you're gonna be snippy, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Nice reversal. Oh. Batista's had a lot of success so far, but that's because most of his opponents let him sock them out. If you're not intimidated at the sight of a heavily muscled six and a half foot animal like Batista, you better have your head examined. Oh man, I don't think that was ever meant to be used like that. Maybe not, but it seems to be doing the trick. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you gotta be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually ever step between those ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. You know, I'm gonna replace you with somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. Come on, quit showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Even if you wind up winning a match like this. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. And that's <sighs> what matters. If you're not doing everything you can to win, you're in the wrong business. That was a textbook reversal. <coughs> it sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds. Yeah, and 10,000 paying customers can't be wrong. Randy Orton has it all. A great look, fantastic charisma, and three... Oh, my! That's going to do some serious damage if someone doesn't stop this. Who in their right mind would try to do that? <laughs> Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a oh. wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Ugh. Talk about adding insult to injury. And these fans love it. 
Yeah, but you got to worry more about the injury and less about the insult till the match is over. <clears throat> These superstars have been given it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. Yeah, you're not going to win a match if you're blown up two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up, and you're going to find out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your <laughs> jaw wired shut. If you ask me, Batista's best days were back when he was Triple H's lackey. Batista was impressive as a member of Evolution, but it wasn't until he left them that he earned the first of several World Heavyweight Championship victories. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. Come on, ref. That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Bottom line is it ain't. Night after night, the WWE superstars never <laughs> fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. A lot of people think that Randy Orton's just an overhyped pretty boy, but I respect his accomplishments. What, you mean like turning on the people who supported him and stabbing them in the back? No, I mean like becoming the youngest world heavyweight champion in history and having one of the longest intercontinental title reigns of the last decade. I'd have more respect for those achievements. I can't believe oh. he just did that. That's so dirty. Well, it's like we used to say back in the day, rules are like bones. They're made to be broken. We're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight. I'm all for freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match, and fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, 